Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create new repository and how to do first push to your repository which you create. Okay, so for that first you have to uh, log into your GitHub. So I already logged in and here you have a button to create a new repository. Just click on create new repository and D4 Drupal demonstration. So you can give any uh, repository name which is available for you. And uh, I am making this public. So public means everyone can uh, view your repository once you've created. Okay, by default, you can add a uh, readme file. So I'm not adding it. I'm just creating repository without any files, okay? So once you've created the repository, you can see there is no files. So you have to do a first push to your repository so that you can see all the files, whatever you are having in the repository. So to do that, what you have to do, uh, I'm just going to my desktop and then I'm creating a repository folder name with the same repository name and then going deep for people demonstration. Here in this repository, you can see ls, there is no folder, ls hyphen way, we don't have any hidden folder also in this folder. So first, what I'm going to do, I am going to create a new file. So this will create, this command will create readme.md file and with the content of D4 Drupal demonstration. So I'm just pasting, entering. So ls, when you do cat on uh, readme file, you can see the content which you created that will be there. So once you created a file, after that, I am going to initialize a git. So which means when you do ls, only readme.md is there. When you do ls a you can see uh, only this is there and current and parent directory are there. So I'm going to run a command called git init. When you run git init, the folder will be initialized for the git repository. So when you do ls now, only readme.md will be there. But when you do ls a here you can see your git folder is initialized, which means this folder is initialized for the git repository, okay? So once that is done, uh, I'm just adding the, so before that, it run git status. So when you run git status, you can see this file is in red color, means the red color means red color represent these files are in untracked files. Untracked files means the, those are not committed in your local folder. So to do that, you just need to add, so once you add it, okay, git add uh, readme, or you can give readme git add dot, git add dot means it will add all the untracked files. When you give git add readme.md, it will add only that particular file from untracked to the tracker files, okay? Once you've done that, when you do git status, you can see the red color is changed to green color. So which means, you are telling to this git repository that you are going to push these files. If the file is in red color in the same folder after you uh, added some of the files, so whatever files you are in red color, when you push, those will not be pushed to your git repository, okay? So after that, I'm just committing. So first commit, you can give any commit message. So once you've committed, so currently the branch is in, uh, master by default so i'm making this branch to main so once you run that command you can see master is changed to main so we are going to make a push to the main branch okay so after that when you push your uh, files whatever you are having here you have to push this to your git repository right so you have to tell this folder that you are going to push to this particular uh, git repository to tell that you have to add the git remote add origin the path okay so uh, when you add this in this so you can see uh, git origin https in the saranya repository you are going to push to this d4 drupal demonstration repository with the files whatever you are having here so before running this i will run one more command git remote hyphen v so we don't have anything already added so when you run this command so, uh, okay, let's get a remote, add, 
origin space enter. So when you run this, now the origin is added for your repository. So when you do git remote icon v, you can see we have added origin. So for cushion uh, fetch, these two repositories are added, which means your folder is linked to your remote repository which you created. So once you've linked it, you just need to push it. So git push origin main. Enter. Okay, so once you run this, it will ask you to log in. So just click on sign in with your browser. So once the authentication is succeeded, your code will be pushed. So when you go to your repository and refresh, you can see our uh, file is added to the content what we give. And also you can see the commit message what you give. The first commit message is added to the first commit. Okay. So this is how you have to create a new repository and do a first commit to your repository. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.